Is there a tension between the study of religious texts or the, the following of religion and just believing in God and following the, the various aspects of religion with freedom of speech? Um, it, in the First Amendment, uh, we, we have something that we call the religion clause, and I've never liked calling it just that because it's two brilliant things right next to each other. The state may not establish an official religion, but it cannot interfere with your right to practice your religion. Mwah, that's beautiful. Two, th two, two, two things at the same time, and I think they're and I think they're both exactly right. And I think sometimes the right gets very excited of, uh, of the free exercise clause, and the left gets very excited about establishment. And I like the fact that we have we, uh, we have both of them together. Now, how does this relate to freedom of speech, and how does it relate to the curriculum, like we were talking about? Um, I actually think it would be great if public schools could teach the Bible, like in the sense of like read it as a historical document. But back when I was at the ACLU, every time I saw people trying this, it always turned into them actually advocating for, you know, a Catholic or a Protestant or some or Orthodox even kind of like read on religion. Um, so if you actually make it into something advocating for a particular view on religion, then it crosses into the uh, establishment clause side. So Americans haven't figured out a way to actually teach it. So it's probably better that you, you know, learn learn about outside of a public school class. Do you think it's possible to teach religion um, from like uh, world religions kind of yeah. course without disrespecting the religions? I think the answer is it depends on from whose perspective. Um, well, like the practitioner, say you're like an orthodox follower of a particular religion. Yeah. Is it possible to not piss you off in teaching like all the major religions of the world? For some people, it, y the bottom line is you have to teach it as true. Ah. Um, and with that, under those conditions, then the answer is no, you can't teach it without, uh, without offending someone at least. Um, can't you say these people believe it's true? Can you yeah. reform it? So you have to walk on eggshells, essentially. You, you, you can try really hard and you will still make some people angry, but serious people will be like, oh no, you actually tried to be fair to, to, to the beliefs here. Um, and I, I, and I try to be respectful, um, as much as I can about, um, a lot of this. I still find myself much more drawn to both Buddhism and Stoicism, though.